Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying our Spark interview question series. Today I am back with one more interview questions in Spark world. Before that I would like to request everyone to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Please also share your feedback that uh, you know what are the other kind of improvements that we can do on our channel and what are the other topics that we should cover as part of uh, uh, you know interview questions so let us start with today's interview question today's interview question is what is catalyst optimizer so it is a very uh, very recently people has started to ask this kind of question uh, they when they start with this question they want to understand that what is your knowledge about how spark internally handles your uh, spark sql and uh, how spark internally handle your uh, uh, you know your commands whatever you are writing as part of spark code so generally they start with this question that what is catalyst optimizer so uh, when data frames and uh, data sets were introduced uh, you know as part of that uh, spark brought in a capability that uh, if you are using data frames and data sets it can automatically opt optimize uh, execution plan for you and uh, uh, give you a RDD code which will run faster you know um, if you are directly coding on RDD most of the time uh, what happens if you are not a very experienced developer your code will not be optimized and it will not uh, give you very good results but if you use data frame and uh, data set it gives you uh, far better performance because spark internally takes care of optimizing your code so uh, optimizing your code and uh, creating a rdd execution plan which will run faster which usually run faster so uh, catalyst optimizer is a component in spark which is used for this optimization uh, your input can be coming from spark sql it can be coming from data frame it can be coming from data set or it can be coming from spark R or some other thing so as soon as you submit your uh, code spark builds a query plan out of it uh, and then it uses cap uh, catalyst optimizer to create a optimized query plan and then that optimized query plan is used to generate RDD code behind the scene all the execution in spark happens uh, through RDD so that's the basic data structure of spark uh, so it automatically generates a RDD code which is optimized for uh, processing your data and it gives you far better performance that's what cat catalyst optimizer do let's go a bit in detail so we'll as part of this slide we'll understand that uh, you know what exactly is catalyst optimizer doing so i'm also making a video which will cover catalyst optimizer into very good depth you know we'll completely dissect catalyst op optimizer but uh, this this slide i am i have put in place uh, considering interviews in mind so if you are explaining it in interview you you will probably explain it in this way so uh, you know as soon as you submit a query suppose suppose you're using data frame or uh, sql spark sql so as you, as soon as you submit a query to spark it's in form of unresolved logical plan so sp what spark does it, it makes a tree out of it so in your college days you might have seen that you know uh, uh, if, if there is expression you uh, convert it into a tree you know in your data structure class you might have done that so uh, um, so same thing uh, spark is doing internally here for us whatever operations we have defined on rdd it it converts those chain of operations into a tree it it converts those uh, that sql into a tree that uh, uh, you know first leaf nodes are calculated and then the parent nodes respective parent node and then you know um, until unless we consume the whole tree the execution uh, the execution keeps on going 
So when we start, uh, the tree is unresolved logical plan. So uh, Spark Catalyst uh, optimizer always talks in terms of trees. So it it applies transformation on a tree and generates a new tree. So in the end, multiple transformations are applied on a tree, and we will get most optimized tree, which is used to generate our RDD code. So let us understand the different kind of transformations. So uh, so first tree that we we get is unresolved logical plan, and and that unresolved logical plan goes through analysis process. Uh, so as part of analysis process, it is evaluated that uh, you know whatever columns you have you have mentioned, uh, does those columns exist in the table or not? Uh, whatever the syntax that you have mentioned in your query is that syntax right or wrong? So if that is right, then a logical plan is created. Logical plan is not in a form which can be readily executed, but it's uh, if you get a if you get a resolved logical plan, uh, that means that you have something which can be executed on Spark engine. So uh, once you get a resolved logical plan, then there are a lot of uh, heuristics and rules that are executed on that uh, logical plan to do logical optimization. So uh, you know after those rules are applied, what you get is optimized logical plan. Then those optimized logical plans are converted into physical plan. Now what is the difference between this optimized logical plan and uh, physical plan? Logical plan tells you that uh, you know uh, you want to do this thing. You want to uh, you know. Uh, this is the table you want to do a where close on that table and this is the filter operation uh, then you want to do a select operation on that and you also want to do a group by operation on that so those kind of details go into logical plan now the detail of how you are going to join is it going to be a map site join or is it going to be a you know a in, in, in spark term is it going to be a broadcast join or uh, is it going to be a hash join or what exactly is the nature of join that you're going to execute here considering the data set uh, size and all that so all those details goes into physical plan so uh, what is uh, what is the type of join you're going to use and uh, uh, in fil in filters what is the kind of optimization that you're going to use uh, uh, is uh, are you going to use uh, 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 are you going to push down uh, where clause in the underlying framework like if you're using parquet a lot of the lot of and you're selecting some columns a lot of uh, processing can be pushed down to the parquet itself you don't need to do it as part of spark so all those details are handled in physical plan logical plan just says that what do you what do i expect as output and uh, you know uh, i want to filter this uh, i have a table i want to filter this table and i uh, want to then group by i want to do join all those things go into lo logical plan but how that lo uh, join uh, if you're doing a join uh, if i do i want to do hash join or do i want to do broadcast join uh, and uh, if there's a filter where that filter will get executed all those details go into physical plan so uh, once we get optimized logical plan that optical optimized logical pl plan is converted into physical plan uh, we will get multiple physical plan as part of physical plan conversion uh, that you know we will get a plan which will say that uh, you should do hash join we'll get another plan which will say that you should do uh, uh, you know uh, broadcast join so there is a cost model that spark follows which evaluates the time and cost and evaluates the time and resources required by each physical plan based on that and based on the state of your cluster it picks up the most optimal physical plan and generates rdd code out of it so that's how a catalyst optimizer works uh, these are the steps that it follows uh, i hope this video is useful for you uh, if you have any doubts please post it in comment section please uh, subscribe to our channel and share the videos thank you for watching our channel